Hello to all of you, this is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will try to understand how to classify new data set in logistic regression. We know that we carry out logistic regression analysis when the dependent variable is running in the categorical scale. The example of it is rural, urban, bias, non-bias, smokers, non-smokers. Dependent variable is one and there are many independent variables and our objective here is to predict for new data set or rather we want to classify the data. How we can do this? We'll have to go in rapid mind. First of all, we will have to train the model and then we will have to classify for the new data set. The word prediction is for the linear regression and for logistic regression, it is a classification. Let us go here. We will first make a model. I'll bring the data set here, drag and drop it, connect the spline. You can see here the variables which are there is age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, max HR, old pig, slow, heart disease. Yes or no. So here, this is our target variable, which is a category. First of all, we will have to use the operator, which is select attributes. We'll simply drag and drop it here, activate the operator, go in subsetting for it, select it. Now select those attributes which are matter of our interest. Age, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old peak, resting blood pressure, and gender. I refer my previous videos on regression analysis and logistic regression analysis to understand the flow of the lecture. Now, I will have to set the rule. It means that I will have to specify which is my dependent variable and which is my independent variable. So, I'll drop it here. I'll activate from here the hard disks. Make it sure that the target role is specified as label. Then only our logistic regression analysis will run. Now I will activate the cross validation from here. I'll simply drag it and drop it here. Disconnect this plane. Now, when any operator contains a layer, you can see here two layers are there. It means that there is a parent process and there is a child process. So when you will double click on it, you will be able to go in the child process. Now, you will have to activate the model from here. Therefore, you will go in logistic regression. You will drag it and drop it here. Connect this training with the training data set and model with model. Now, you go here, apply the model. Drag it and drop it here. Connect model with the model, testing with the unlabeled. Now you have to pick up the performance. Make sure that this time you select performance with the classification because logistic regression is a classification algorithm. Now you will connect label with the label, performance with the performance, example with the test. Once the connections are over, press the up arrow. So now from child process, you will be coming into the parent process. Now there are some connections which you will have to do from here. Here also, you will apply the model. You'll drag it and drop it in the parent process. Now this model, you will connect here. And now you will bring the test data, which is part one. Now the data set which was here and here, it's completely different. This data set was used for training and this is for testing. Again, I'll select the attributes. So what I can do is, I can select both of them. First of all, let me connect these operators directly. One, two, copy and control V. I'll simply put it here. One, two, and I'll take into the unlabeled. 
Now this is being done, then I'll connect label with the result, model with the result. Then I'll press the play button. I'll go into the example set. These are the 10 new cases which has been given to the model. And it has predicted for that the person is having a heart disease or not. And here it gives us a confidence of it. So for the first one, the prediction is correct. The heart disease was there. Sorry, the heart disease is not there. And the algorithm is also predicting that the heart disease is not there. For second one, it's not correct. For third one, it's correct. For fourth one, it's misclassification. So this is a way you can predict for new data in Rapid Miner. For more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of Rapid Miner. You can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button.